hey guys i'm rachel and welcome back to my channel so today i created this pop of color i look with very dark lips i kept everything sort of matte and just highlighted my nose i created this look because i know color can be very intimidating to most of us and if you're a beginner to makeup you probably don't know the best way to play with color because you you're scared you're scared of the color you know this look with with you in mind with those of us who are afraid to play with, to play with colors and to show you a simple and easy way to incorporate color into your eye look so eventually you can take it to a more advanced level go hard or go home i went with red you don't necessarily have to use red you can use a more subtle color but i'm like you know what we're going all the way and I love, love, love the way it turned out. I also used a new foundation and gave a mini review of the foundation. Um, yeah, so I I love it. So if you want to see how to incorporate color into your makeup routine, into your eye look, uh, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with my ColourPop uh, All Star Blur and Smooth Primer, and I'm applying that with my foundation brush all over my face. Then I'm gonna go in my Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'm applying that everywhere. I have larger pores and where I tend to get oily, which is the center of my face. Um, my chin, my forehead tends to crease a little bit as well. Now I'm using this new foundation, the Catrice uh, Liquid Coverage Foundation. <laughs> I'll have the name there. Um, and I'm applying it with a brush. I use two shades because I feel like the foundation runs kind of red. They just extended the shade range, but it still is not the best, but the formula, it is so good. You see one side, I use just the brush and applied it everywhere and it totally covered everything on my face. It is such a good formula. I'm so impressed. I heard so much about it before. That's why I tried it. But like I said, it runs a bit red. Um, it dries down to a nice soft matte finish also. I feel like you can get away with not setting that with a powder as well. Um, now I'm moving in with my NYX Can't Stop One Stop of, um, Concealer. I'm applying that everywhere I want to highlight because I need to neutralize that foundation since it's so red. I'm doing my brows and bam, my brows are done. And I'm going to also apply some of this liquid camouflage from the same brand Catrice because it's lighter just to bring something more to the concealer because this foundation needs to be balanced because it runs really red on me. So I want the areas to be brighter and to be a little more yellow so I can have something to even out the redness on my skin. The, maybe the redness is not showing up on camera. It usually doesn't, but in person it's really red. Now I'm just blending out the usual the way I do it with my beauty sponge. Using my Jacob Banana Powder, I'm setting everywhere and I'm really applying that powder. I'm packing the powder on because I want it to be very highlighted. This would also help to neutralize some of the red from that foundation that I used. So I'm setting everywhere I placed my concealer and with the excess, I'm going to just tap it over my face so that everything can set. But this foundation, you guys, it's really, really nice. It's, it's so good. So good. The, the shade range sucks, but it's very good. I'm very impressed. I heard good things about it. And only con is the shade range. Now for the eyes, I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette and this color 24 7 on a flat shadow brush and I'm applying that all over my lids I'm packing it and blending it until I get the color payoff that I want and I'm be sure to blend it really well in the crease because I'm only using one color today but I still want everything to be blended and seamless so I'm really really packing it on and blending until I get the look that I want from the shadow I want it to be very blown out on top I just feel like this would look better with some sort of color to the lids. Here I'm just dusting the excess powder off and I'm taking my time. The video is sped up, but I'm taking my time and doing this and I'm buffing it off and sort of buffing it into my skin as well in such small circular motion so that the powder is also dissolving into my skin. Now 
Now I'm going to contour. I'm using my Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm basically using almost all the shades there. I'm mixing them and blending them together. This would also help to neut help neutralize the red in the foundation that I use. Bring some dimension back into my face. Now I'm using this NARS Red Eyeliner. And I am going to line my bottom lashes in a corner to outer corner this is going to act as a base for the shadow that i'm going to lay over top it's also going to make it stick and make it even more pigmented than it is now i'm using colourpop baby talk um pigment and i did go in in the end and use um james charles and morphe palette because i felt like this red after i blended it out it looked pink so I'm just packing that on with a flat brush. I'm setting the base that I placed down first. And after I have it set, I'm using that, that brush to sort of blend it out first. And then I'm going in with a pencil brush to further blend out any harsh lines from underneath um, the first the underneath the red that i placed down first i'm really buffing it off so it's more uh blended and seamless then red can make your eyes look kind of sick looking so i need to add some balance to that so i went in with morphe jet a liner in my waterline and i'm making sure to pack that on and fill in any gaps that may have been there and i'm also doing some tight lining as well tight lining now i'm using some blush this is my nyx blush in pinch i'm applying it to my cheeks my chin just to bring some balance to everything and i'm going to set my face as usual and I use the Colourpop All Star Setting Spray. I'm going to apply my lashes. In this look, you definitely need to apply um, mascara. It's going to create definition with the red and the black. I'm going. It's also going to prep my 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 lashes for the false lashes, which I'm going to use because I feel like this look needs the lashes. You need to add some balance into the look since the bottom is already red. It looks kind of heavier than the top. Now I'm using my Carly Bible palette and this sort of purpley, uh, pinky highlight. This palette, palette is discontinued, but I'm pretty sure you can find a color like that from any brand. I'm just highlighting my nose, my cupid's bow, and I'm going to use that same color and bring some highlight to my chin and my inner corners of my eyes. I just felt like this complemented the look very well. Using my Kiss Lashes in So Wispy, sorry, Demi Wispy is, is, num is number one. And I chose these lashes because they're thicker at the bottom and really wispy at the top and long and curvy. I felt like it complemented the eye look very well. This look needs lashes in my opinion. It added and brought back balance into the eye look. Now I'm just pinching my real lashes and the false lashes together so that everything is blended and you don't see my false lashes and my real lashes. Here is where I went back with that Morphe and James Charles palette red and added that red to make it look red. I felt like it looked pink. <laughs> now I'm using Colourpop Embellish um, Liquid Lip. It's a deep dark brown. I'm not sure they make that one anymore, but I'm pretty sure there are other browns on the side that you can find. And I'm lining my lips and filling in my lips with that um, liquid lipstick. And be very careful when you're using liquid lipsticks. Make sure you line your lips first and then fill them in. Make sure everything is neat and in line. Here I'm just neatening and making sure everything is in place. Of course, you gotta set the brows with the got to be gel. <laughs> Keep those brows in place. Now 
I'm setting my face again yes i set my face twice and i'm using my trick that i showed you guys i'm just gonna go over that in my damn sponge and press that in my skin and make sure everything is even more seamless and that is a completed look i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for the support i love you guys bye all right so that's it guys that's a completed look pop of color in your eye makeup routine <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed it if you do please subscribe and hit the bell hi if you're new here i'm rachel welcome to the family i upload every sunday and wednesday you can also follow me on all my social media shades of shells and shells edition all the information would always be in the description box so be sure to check that out in case you missed anything uh during the, the tutorial also i'm a nail technician and a working makeup artist out here in brooklyn so be sure to book me if you learn something new today i'm here to make sure you learn something new each time i come here on youtube so um thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell let's reach the millions and let's continue to change and touch the world one face Perfect. at a time Perfect. so i'll see you in my next tutorial on